Good afternoon, Scorpio. How are you guys doing? I hope you guys are doing good. Oh my God, what is going on with my hair? <laughs> Today, we are going to be talking about uh, the second half of November for Scorpio, Sun, Moon, Venus, and Rising Sign. All right? So not all messages will resonate, but take what resonates and leave the rest behind. For that being said, let's do two, yeah, two more shuffles, two more shuffles. All right. Two more shuffles. Two more shuffles. There we go. All right, so let's check out what the overall energies have for you, Scorpio. If I didn't say this already, this is going to be for Scorpio, Sun, Moon, Venus, and Rising Sun. All right. So, Scorpio, for your overall energies, you are not really wanting to celebrate, but you're because you're kind of like you're not at peace with your state of mind. But you have all this power, so you, you're you trying to control a situation that's not really suiting your needs, all right, Scorpio? And you're really needing to look back at the situation and see if you can change your mind in any way. If you can really put your mind at ease, that way you can have a better understanding on what's going on in the situation and that way you can better control the situation. All right. So let's pull some more cards for Scorpio, some moon Venus, a rising sun. So you got the page of wands, you got the five of pentacles, the world's card, the page of swords, the moon card and the high priestess. All right. So you could be, so I'm going to just say all the signs that I see right now. I see Aries, I see uh, fire signs, Leo, Sagittarius, uh, and Aries, obviously, because I said that before. Um, I see Pisces, I see Cancer, I see Libra, and then you got the fixed signs here as well. So all the fixed signs. Um, all right. So it looks like you're having a hard time taking action towards something or someone. Maybe this could be like an ex person, someone that like left you out in the cold before. Maybe you're trying to uh, reconcile with this person, but you're just having a hard time because your state of mind is just all over the place. And or maybe this person just makes you like crazy, <laughs> you know, um, but either way. It looks like cycles are repeating or you are trying to call in some cycles to repeat that way. Um, it's better suited for you. You will get some new ideas on how to approach the situation because it looks like this connection was very fulfilling for you um, because you were able to control it so well that you, you somehow lost control of it. But either way, there was a lot of balance. You could be dealing with a Pisces or a Libra. Um, there was tons of balance in this situation. Or you're either that or you're just having a better state of mind and you are balancing out during the second half of November. All right. You're finding your new path. You're a new path to walk on. All right. So I may have just like skipped to like a different message. So just bear with me. So like I said, not all messages are going to resonate, so just take it as it resonates. I'm just reading the cards as I see them. But uh, yeah, uh, let's pull some more cards. All right, so you have the Nine of Swords and the Queen of Cups. So definitely a Cancer you could be dealing dealing with or someone that's very all about their coin. Uh, could be a Taurus uh, for sure that's very emotional or can be very sensitive but is very all about themselves and what and like is really about their needs all right and it looks like once you get this page of swords or new idea um coming in it looks like you're all that stress and worry is just going to go out the door and into like the trash bin like you're not going to be worried about this person anymore you're just moving on you're moving forward with your life and you're on a new path all right you could be finding a cancer um 
or just like meeting a cancer and wanting to date a cancer. I don't know. It's up to you. But um, yeah, this person, I feel like they really balance you out and they really connect with you. All right. Yeah, there's going to be some changes. So you could be just going through a rebirth right now, and that's why you're going through a lot of changes. Uh, so just keep that in mind. Um, so before you were a caterpillar, and now you're a cocoon, and then soon you're going to be, you know, that beautiful butterfly, you know, that just comes out of nowhere and, you know, really, um, you know, helps you out. You know, it's, you're going to come out of this sadness or like this crazy mindset, this unsettling mind, mindset into something that's very fulfilling, very uh, balanced, and it's over, all around very good for you, all right? So let's see what Gaia has in store for Scorpio, Sumo, Venus, and Rising Sign for the second half of November. What does Gaia have for Scorpio, Sumo, Venus, and Rising Sign? What does Gaia have for Scorpio, Sumo, Venus, and Rising Sign? All right, the dream. Something is revealed. Insight, breakthrough. So you will be getting insight on what's going on in this situation, or you may find out that this person wasn't as faithful as you thought they were. Um, but this, these can all happen within a dream state. So um, maybe you find out the truth about what was actually going on with this person um but really pay attention to your dreams during the second half of november um i see a lot of growth and potential for you during that uh second half and then you have life cycles family transformation yeah so you're definitely going through a lot of changes a lot of transformation uh which just you know it uh basically just confirms the death card and the world's card that you are going through life cycles and that family is very important to you so this could be a family situation um that you are dealing with or maybe some like some i don't know something involving family um i don't know why it's just you guys like don't want me to say it <laughs> like i like every time i like try to like say like someone like it, you guys just like stop me from saying it. So like, uh, you could be dealing with a Scorpio or just definitely a water sign or like someone with fire in their chart. Um, but either way, like you are going through cycles, you're going through changes and things happen. All right. We are in Scorpio season, which is all about change. It's all about love. You know, it like a tough love basically. It's not necessarily like, um, a Taurus kind of loving or like a cancer loving. I don't know. It's just like all around a good change. All right. So let's see what the moonology cards have in store for Scorpio, so moon, Venus, and rising sun. Did I say you could be dealing with a Scorpio? Like, you are Scorpio, so you could be dealing with another Scorpio, all right? So let's see what moonology cards we got in store for Scorpio, so moon, Venus, and rising sun. Man, I really need to put more gel in my hair, because it... <laughs> Damn. All right, so Scorpio, Scorpio, Scorpio. I believe I just saw the work through your fears card while I was shuffling. So you may have some fears that you need to work through. Or that's probably this rebirth that you are going through. It's helping you work through your fears and really understand what's going on with you and your person that you are dealing with. 
I'm gonna hit this too many cards. All right. Nothing is yet set in stone. The end of a tough cycle approaches. All right. So yes, yeah, cycles are ending and new cycles will be beginning. You have a lot of earth energy and a lot of water energy, but also a lot of fire energy. So you have a little bit of air energy here, but it's mostly water and fire and then mix in with a little bit of earth and air. Um, but anyway, you could be dealing with a Capricorn. That's a new sign that popped up. But either way, you when it comes to this state of mind or this hard time that you are going through, you're definitely getting into like calm waters. You know how you see how like the waters are all like rocky and like you know, they're just they're not soft. Like it's just like everything's being hectic and there's like a storm going on and blah 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 like the the waves are going to start being a lot calmer like in the moon card how like they're like rippled but they're not all over the place so you know you do have a chance to fix whatever is going on in this situation with this person but uh, this could also be an Aries that's on your mind, so just putting that out there. You could be, uh, maybe this person just, you have, like, they're on your mind so much that it's making you unbalanced, all right? Um, but either way, uh, once you get through this, like, rough water, it's going to be a lot calmer. So you got to just get through the storm, and you will be safe. You will be good. All right. Trust in the process. All right. I hope you guys resonate with this video. If you did, please like, comment, and subscribe. And namaste. I'll see you guys next time. Peace.